Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at AAOI and CARA on the daily, weekly, monthly timeframes using technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. So let's get right to the daily chart of AAOI. And first thing I noticed, we did have pretty good volume today, 37 million. We were up $5.87 or 9.48% on the day. What a great day, guys. I wish I was long. Would have taken the profits and said thank you very much. We're at the upper end of this channel here, guys, and the 618 coming up as well. This is what it's been doing. Chop, 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 right back up. Great. You know what? If this pattern breaks down, guys, we might retest the all-time high and continue going. I'm going to wait to short this thing at, at maybe at 80 bucks, 75 maybe start. We'll have to see how it reacts on next week if it's going to continue pushing up. The markets are weak. I think this is going to click over and go right back down. Weekly chart. They're back still above the MA, the 50 and the 20, or the 20 and the 50, but down sideways, guys. This thing's got to start going. It's got to get above the blue line, the 750 retrace around 7117, and then possibly higher prices to come. If it cannot get above the all-time high, which is at 75.59, it comes right back in. It might get rejected and come right back down. Like I said, we'll be looking at this uh, double top for another short entry. We did it here when it came down, pulled it off for about 10 bucks. That was a great trade on um, AAOI, and it was a quick one, too. Got back in there, boom, straight down, sideways. This is going one, two, three, four sideways, four weeks sideways, guys. Goes a couple more weeks. I don't care if it's above the 20 or the 50. This will be setting up for possible lower prices. So let's see next week if it could push through the 618, the 750. If it cannot get followed through tomorrow or on next week's close on Friday, I want to see next weekly's close up in this area, 74, 75, even, uh, even past the all-time highs. If it cannot follow through, guys, I don't. it's, it's just going to kind of roll over, I think, and come right back down. Not, doesn't matter what I think, but I'm just following the patterns here. We get one, two, three, four more weeks of this sideways action. This will be setting up for lower prices. Earnings coming up on this stuff, 50-50 shot. If it pops up into earnings, I will definitely short it or write calls on this one. If it drops down, then uh, you know we're just going to wait for a bounce area. Then I just, I'm just i not going to chase it down or what have you. So watch out, guys. It's on the monthly chart. This is the reason why we shorted it the first time. It is a high flyer. Look at this thing. 20 MAs at 30 bucks. And the price right now is at 67.30. It's just just too far, too fast, guys. Got to pull back, and then maybe some possible higher prices. That's just the way it works. When you get extended from the 20 MA on any time frame, it always comes back. This is the monthly, so it takes a little bit longer. It will chop up and down, but just be careful with the AA. Oh, I, it, it, it's just it's just a high flyer, guys. It will come in. It just takes a little bit of time. All right, let's look at C A R A. Let's try C A R A. All right, daily chart, man. This was a beast too. Look at this. We came right into the double top. Double top pierce almost goes to 30. We talked about this. Look at look how far they overshot it and then boom, straight back down. We're into some good support now on this one though. Check this out. So daily chart. Let's get into that one. We're into the 200 MA. We're into the 618. We're into the 1350 area, which I believe is this low pivot here. And then we also have an area around the uh, 12, is it 12, 1265 as well. Great area support, guys. But when you come from a high pivot and this thing just falls like this with some velocity and some volume picking up, this thing was a low low volume flyer for a long time. Must have got some news, popped it, and dropped it in everyone's face. So this is holding good, but when you get some red bars like this, this possibly could lead to lower prices. Let's go to the weekly chart. Weekly chart, though, 618 again. You have this level here, this retrace at 1265. See where it retraced, came back in, little bearish pattern, started breaking out, came right in, and then the news popped right up, right through double top, boom, right back down. You get big red bars like this on the weekly. This could lead to lower prices, 1220 to 50 MA, which is good support. But honestly, guys, if this thing starts breaking down, I don't know what they do or who they are, but, man, this, 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 this could go back to these low pivots gap fill around 7 bucks five or six bucks and then 433 honestly you get a high pivot fall like that mama mia mama mia <laughs> monthly chart like i said this is the other one too you go from 430 to 30 bucks come on you got to get a pullback and here it comes i mean look look at this thing straight up straight down straight up straight down straight up all the way got through and going right back down so beware 10 bucks is good area too you got the 20 ma on the monthly chart that should have some support as well 618 750 coming down here so watch for this if this area starts to break down 
Watch for the 1039. This is the monthly chart. It might take a little while, but man, look at that. Nice topping tail. Look at, gosh, right back in, right back down, and boom, shakalaka. So, C-A-R-A, a little bit weak, showing some support. Will it hold? Let's see what happens next week. Daily chart, let's see if we go sideways. If we go sideways without a read, say if we stay down in this lower range, it's possibly setting up for lower prices. Or if that pattern fails, bulls, you got to get back above the 50, the 20, fill the uh, or go to gap window then come up here and fill the gap so and you still have double top up here you have some gaps to fill stuff like that so right now guys looking a little bit ugly tighten the stops if you're short you could possibly get some lower prices to come again this area crack that was big these think they got to bring it up at this point and try to save this thing or at least consolidate it go sideways for a little bit and then the next leg down again if that sideways pattern fails got to retrace back above this and get above that area all right guys that's it for these two if you like these videos, go to stockbookie.com, sign up, or go to YouTube and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. God bless. See you on the charts.